I'm heading over to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go on a little of a bit of a challenge. I'm going in with $10 and I'm trying to buy for my two toddlers who are one and three, some stocking stuffers for them. And I'm looking for one thing to wear, one thing they want, one thing they need, and one thing to read. So I'm doing that whole like, you know, four things, read, want, need type of thing. Okay, I'm here at the Dollar Tree and I have my $10. On this cold December day, I am Okay, I see a lot of crafts and a craft could be a good stocking stuffer if it's the right size. I am gonna pick up some plain red paper. I'm not sure what the quality will be, but I usually do Santa's gifts in just plain red paper. Okay, so far I'm just finding stuff for myself for Christmas time. Okay, this book is so cute. Oscar's first book of manners. They have so many more good things that would make great stocking stuffers. Like so many workbooks and different things that you could put in your kids' stockings that they could hang in their room. Tons of supplies here. They have these poster stickers, which might be fun for learning alphabet. So this is probably gonna be my something to wear, a hat. Just checking out the patterns. I like the shark one, I like the dinosaur. I think we'll go with the dinosaur. These don't feel as soft. I may go with these gloves. Okay, I just finished my challenge, but now I'm just grabbing some other things that we need. Um, we just moved and we didn't really move any of our spices. So my husband was like, well, while you're at the dollar store, can you pick up a bunch of seasonings and spices because they're only a dollar so here I am and I'm looking for one in particular that's like an all-purpose garlic pepper seasoning that is really 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 you really have to pay attention when you're at the Dollar Tree because everything is truly a dollar and this is a dollar and this is a dollar and if you turn these over they're the exact same ingredients so why would I pay m more for 5.4 when I can get 12 ounces I was successful in the Dollar Tree. I ended up getting everything I needed for less than $10. Where's my receipt? I spent $9.68. I ended up buying nine items. I did not get candy for Michael. There wasn't any money left over, but I did get what I needed for the kids' stockings for $9.68. So let me show you what I got them. For the item that they want, I got each of them a toy. So for Hamilton, I got him this little um, action set with a fire truck and a fire station. These pieces are kind of small, so I only um, plan to give him the actual fire station in his stocking stuffer and then the little toy car, just because I don't want Theo getting his hands on these other little signs, so we can save those for another time. But this is for H3 Plus and it was only $1, so this is his want. For Theo in his stocking, I picked up this set of Play-Doh. They plow through Play-Doh, they love Play-Doh so much, um, and they always make like a huge mess of it, and a lot of times it's not really like able to be saved for later. So this is an eight piece set, and it does include like little molds on the top, so these will fit perfect in the stocking. Um, so I grabbed these, and these will be going in Theodore's stocking, who's almost two in the category of need. One thing that they need, I got each of them a set of Thomas the Train toothbrushes for $1. I probably could have even like broken these up and done 50 cents for a need, but 
obviously like I wanted them to be sanitary in a case so I just got two of these for one dollar and they love Thomas the Train so this is perfect and then for what to read I got each of them a book for Theo I got him Oscar's book of uh, first book of manners which he loves Sesame Street so this will be super cute for him this was actually the only copy of this book I found in the store and it was kind of a fluke that I found it so glad that I did because the book selection wasn't like super great and then for Hamilton to read he's like really getting into read reading he's always been into reading but now he like I don't know recognize letters and things like that he's in pre-k3 I got him the ready to read this is actually level two so he's gonna need to like grow into it but we can certainly read it to him now um, Lucy knows best so I got him this little um, who are these people Charlie Brown and Lucy um, because I didn't really like any of the books like there just weren't a lot of options I was really trying to find something about like trains or something that like goes but the quality was kind of lame so this was the best quality for his age group so I picked this one up for one dollar I got this two pack of gloves because this is just great to have like an extra pair of gloves for each of them to keep in their backpack or in their cubby at school and it was a dollar for two so they were only 50 cents which allowed me to buy a bonus item and this is something that they would want for sure but I got each of them it's kind of a want slash need because it's a workbook an educational workbook but I got two Sesame Street workbooks and one's letter sounds for Hamilton and the other one is colors for Theodore. So for under $10, I think I did pretty good with stocking stuffers this year. I'll sprinkle a few other things in the stockings, like, you know, the typical stuff that I do. If you wanna see my video from last year, I'll go ahead and link it here. But yeah, I was successful and- I hope you enjoyed watching this mini stocking stuffer challenge. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up below. It really helps me out. I am bringing you new videos all throughout the holiday season and every day during the month of December. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.